You know, Rick, you once wrote a song years ago, uh, Healing Grace. We all know this song. And there's a line in there that I've never forgot that you used. I can see that there are good things only suffering can bring. bring. So there's got to be a story behind that. Well, uh, there is. Uh, many, many times I will go into Pastor Rick's library and I'll just <laughs> like look through his books and just find these great quotes and things. And I was trying I to write I thought you some... got them all from my sermons. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, yeah. No, no. Books. A lot of them. Yeah, right, a good. lot of them. All right. But um, I actually found that quote from A.W. Tozer. It was one of his books. And I was writing a song. I had been going through some things with my family. Matter of fact, my son Jordan has had, as many of you know, has had open heart surgery six times. Yeah. And uh, this last time, it was August 10th, we were in the hospital for 24 days. Yeah. So at the time I was writing that song, we were dealing with something through that. And uh, uh, there are times when you think this is just uh, a metaphor, but when you think your life is over, yeah. but then you find when you give it to God and you trust God with that, uh -huh. you find that he's there, yeah. which I found over and over. And these things that Pastor Rick is talking to us now, one thing that when you do go through suffering and you do choose to trust God, you find that God's word is true. Huh. You find, oh, yeah, it really is true. It's one thing the to go. Promises are, the promises can be counted on. They are. And, yeah. and God does come through. Yeah. One thing that I found is, uh, well, we were in the hospital 24 days. This, this church body uh, prayed for our family. They fed my family while I was in the hospital uh, with Jordan. They, for 24 days, you guys huh. took care of uh, one of your friends and pastors. <sighs> and that was, uh, it, it's an amazing thing to be on the receiving end yeah. of something like, I, I, yeah. you know, well, a lot of times we're up here, we're giving and right, things right. like that, but yeah. to see you guys, that was huge. Another thing is, um, just being in the hospital and waiting, uh, there were so many complications in this particular surgery mm -hmm. that uh, you really, I really needed to rely on God's promises and His presence. There were, there were times when... We um, felt lonely, I bet. We felt lonely. Yeah. We felt unsure of what the next hour was going to bring. Yeah. And a lot of times we live life like we know what's going to happen today. We just assume everything's going to be great today. You're not expecting to get hit by a car or, right. you know, these big things. Right. So maybe you don't live your life like you should trust God. But in those moments where you have to, that's when you have the opportunity to know how good God is in a very, very mm -hmm. real way. Mm -hmm. So I'd say that, that was a big thing that I learned. Also, God's not a genie. A lot of times we pray and we just want that thing, and it's like we rub the lamp, and then he's supposed to perform these things for us. There were many, I, I met a handful of, of parents that were literally, they walked out of the hospital without their, their children. Mm. They passed away. Mm. It's not about that. What it is about is that God is with you in those tough times, and that you don't have to worry about what's around the bend. You can trust God that when you get around there, God's still going to be with you. Yeah. The other thing that I learned, and that we had a lot of laughs and things like that when, when, when uh, Jordan was coming off the anesthesia and stuff like <laughs> all of the medications, have a lot of fun yeah. with that. Um, met a lot of people. You know, when you have these experiences, we met nurses and things like that that were trying to figure out where the joy, where the hope yeah. was coming from. Yeah. And that when people see my children and they see God in them, yeah. and when they see our family, it's, 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 it's even for people that don't believe in God, they just have to wonder, what is it? And I just got to tell you, it's not me. It's, it's uh, probably Laura, but a lot God. Yeah. <laughs> okay? And, and, and so um, one thing I really admire about my son, and something that he's gotten from this, Jordan, is that through these six surgeries, he has suffered a lot. Yeah. But he's also seen God come through a lot. Yep. And when he plays his guitar, yeah. he loves to play the blues. When he plays the blues, he plays like a guy that's been around a lot longer than 19 years. <laughs> well, you got to hurt to play the blues. He, he, he really says it. Yeah. I want us to sing that song, Healing Grace. Would you sing with us? Oh, Lord. Holy Lord, who took my despair 
and put joy in its place. O Lord, most holy Lord, thank you for your healing grace. Your grace is changing my life in so many When I thought my life was over, you were waiting there for me. Now I can see that there are good things only suffering can bring. Oh Lord, Holy Lord, who took my despair and put joy in its place. Oh Lord, Lord. Most holy Lord, thank you for your healing grace. Your grace is changing my life in so many ways. I'm looking forward to the future, the work I have to do. Knowing I'm forgiven and acceptable to you. Oh Lord, holy Lord, who took my despair and put joy in its place. Oh Lord, most holy Lord, thank you for your healing. Thank you for your healing grace. Thank you for your healing.